Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by, you are highly welcome. Please, I beg you for this favor, click on that red button that says subscribe and beside it is a notification bell. Turn the bell on, it's very very important as it enables you to know when I upload a new video so that you will be the first person to check it out. I bring to you information about the globe, especially Nigeria to be precise. Now today I'm going to present to you another interesting video as we will listen and watch the video together. Let us watch. We are very worried the way the dimension, the insecurity is taking shape in this country. And the earlier we come together and check made this the better for us. Within the last two months in Sokoto alone, let me say it here, let me say it here. So many people were killed by bandits that we don't know who they are. So many people were killed by bandits that we don't know who they are, where they come from. They just raid villages, kill people and leave without taking anything. The first group we buried were 48, including women and children, killed just like that. A couple of weeks later, two or three weeks later, 44 were killed. A couple of weeks later, 18 were killed. Three days ago, 29 were killed. Put the number together within how many weeks? That's the number lost within Sokoto villages alone. I'm making this comment for people to know insecurity level is everywhere. And therefore, as religious leaders, we must use our position, our exalted position, our privileged positions to preach peace. These issues are affecting everybody. It's not limited to one side. Therefore, stereotyping, causing ethnic, uh, I mean using ethnicity and whatever, will not help matters. And that's why I said this meeting couldn't have come at a better time than now, where we must sit as religious leaders and discuss these things openly and send our suggestions to the government. Why are the security issues? Bandits now go into houses to get kidnap, not on the highway anymore. Of recent, in the last couple of days, they are going to institutions in Zaria, ABU, Polytechnic, took away people. In the Northwest in particular, people don't see with their eyes closed. Just yesterday, or day for yesterday, a whole village was raised down in Sokoto. But people don't hear about this. The institute level in the north is so high that people are even afraid of traveling from Frontier to Zaria. It is about 48, uh, 50 miles. Not just from Sokoto to Abuja or to Kano. People don't know this. We know what we are going through. We are so insecure in the north that people find ways and means of keeping at least something in the house so that when these bodies come, they will give them something, they will, they will let them free. Some couple of weeks ago, 76, 76 people were killed in Sokoto by bandits in a day. It's not a story. I personally went to the village for condolence, myself and the governor, in the, in the eastern part of Sokoto. You don't hear these stories because it's in the north. Because we don't have media that's strong enough to bring out these atrocities of bandits. So people feel or think north is secure. No. North is not secure at all. In fact, it's the worst place to be in this country. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time or first day of coming across my YouTube channel or seeing my face, you are highly welcome. Please be comment to my next channel. My name is Linda Chukwezi. It comment as Miguel. Click on that red button that says subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able 
to get information okay. on the Bis zum nächsten Video und einen schönen Tag. Tschüss. Tschüss. Bis mein nächstes Subscribe to Linda's TV Show. What are you waiting for? Click on that red button that says subscribe. You turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me. Leave your comment down below and share this video with your friends, families, and colleagues until we meet again in my next video. Bye-bye.